Namaste beautiful yogis. This is a quick leg and butt standing routine. I'm practicing in gorgeous sunny Malibu. Let's begin at the front of our mats. Inhale your hands all the way over your head. Lift and let's grab the left wrist with the right hand. Reach up and over side bend. Coming back up, over to the opposite side, keep your elbows back and your shoulders down, tuck your tailbone under. And come back up. Exhale, dive down, forward bend. Hands on the shin bones, inhale, look ahead of you. Exhale, folding forward. Breathe into your hamstrings and you can wrap your wrists around your elbows here and allow your upper body to hang. Allowing the head to be heavy. Keep your knees slightly bent. And let's clasp the hands behind the back, pressing the hands away from the back. Bend your knees. Come into a half squat, chest parallel to the floor. Open the right shoulder up towards the ceiling, lengthening through the crown of the head and switch. Opposite side. Back to center. Release the hands and again wrap your wrist around your elbows, hanging, allowing the upper body to hang. Slowly roll up to standing, one vertebra at a time. Inhale your hands over your head, lift, exhale, chair pose. Sit back, press your hips back, knees back, spread your toes open, belly in. And let's take the left leg behind us, right leg on the floor, Warrior tree. If you are doing this on the sand, you will notice how much more difficult this is. And slowly come up to standing. Grab your left knee with your right hand and twist. Look back over your left hand. Slowly back to warrior tree. And come back up. Grab your knee. Twist and look behind you. With the uneven surface, this was a great exercise. One more time, warrior three. Level the hips with the floor, pull the belly in. And step back, high lunge. Hands above the head. Lift. Press the back heel away from you. Great. And I'm demonstrating the first exercise here. We're going to come up, touch the floor, and step back 10 times. Make sure to keep your back straight and your chest open as you lower down. This is a form of a deadlift. Stepping all the way back in high lunge. When you step back in high lunge, make sure to keep your right knee over the right ankle. So it's not overlapping over your toes. At all times, keep your back straight. Maintaining the lower back curve. You don't want to curve your back here. This is a back strengthening exercise as well as glutes and hamstrings, core, inner thighs, quads. It's a really great exercise. If you're on an even surface, you can add a little more to it. Either way, make sure to keep your form and breathe. And once you're done, come to the front of your mat, chair pose. And let's shift the weight over onto the left leg, right leg behind, warrior tree. Try to level the hips, come forward, grab your knee with your left hand and look over your right hand. Drop the shoulders away from the ears, exhale, soften your belly. 
and one more time warrior three level the hips you can work with variations of warrior three and come up to standing grab your knee with your left hand and look back and one more time warrior three and step all the way back in high lunge left knee over the left ankle slowly doing the same exercise over to the left side I highly recommend trying this on the sand 10 times on the left it was extremely extremely challenging and I was sore for a couple of days after even though it was just a 15 minute leg workout it took a lot to uh, balance and not fall <laughs> belly in, breathe and continue with deadlift to back lunge one of my favorite combinations actually and now maybe doing that combination on the sand is my next most favorite exercise and once you're done come at the front of your mat and step in chair pose sit as far back as you can belly in inhale up to standing hands over the head clasp your hands reach over to one side side bend and over to the opposite side relax your shoulders exhale your hands over your heart and here we're gonna just take a side step into side lunge 10 times right leg steps out into side lunge and back sit back same rules apply knee back hip back straight back keep the chest open belly in and here we're gonna kick out side kick and followed by a side lunge 10 times this is more of a side lift of the leg rather than a kick using your hip muscles sit as far back as you can lift the leg as high as you can And once you're done with your 10 reps, step over to the opposite side. 10 side lunges. Sit as far back as you can, keep your back straight. Really try to press your hips back so that your knees are going back. Your left knee here is going over your left ankle. And moving on with the second exercise, side lunge to side leg lift. Using your hips. controlled movement
and once you're done you can take white stands here play a squat make sure to press your knees back open your toes out and the toes should follow the direction of your knees sit as deep in your plie as you can and you can bring the right elbow over the right knee reach over switch sides left elbow over the left knee and again to the right and over to the left and let's look over one shoulder bring your hands on your legs above your knees and twist so you should feel this in your spine as a mini adjustment using your hands to readjust your back A couple times you can look over your shoulders and now back to plie lifting the toes side to side try to lift them 10 to 20 times depending on what's challenging for you you want to challenge yourself you can even pause the video and add 20 more toe lifts to the sequence once you're done you're gonna bring your hands over your heart and you're gonna jump your feet in chair inhale coming up to standing and let's go again for side bends, side reaches those are great for the obliques facing the front again step onto your right foot take your left leg behind you leg lifts diagonally and back 10 or alternatively 20 times you can actually do the entire routine twice or even three times if you're not gonna be moving around a lot today and changing sides 10 to 20 back leg lifts on the opposite side use controlled movement here contracting your glutes once you're done inhale your hands over your head exhale forward bend And sit back to your pose. Inhale, coming up to standing, standing on the right leg. And let's do 10 mini one legged squats. So those are half one legged squats, sitting back and coming up. Left leg is in the air. and then on the opposite side again try to keep your hips back chest open lower back curve those are mini squats you can go a little deeper and release let's take low squat Coming all the way into yogic squat, hands in prayer, elbows on the insides of the knees. Here you can either stay in prayer or clasp your hands behind your and around your knee, opening your shoulder on one side and then changing sides, allowing the shoulders to open here. Pressing equally into both feet. Great. Either stay in um, low squat, yogic squat, or do three crow poses in a row. Coming into crow, then coming back down, stretch your back. One more time, set up for crow, 
Lift your heels towards your booty. Lower down, stretch. One more time. Knees high on the triceps, lift, pull the belly in, pull the feet up and release, round the back. And rest in yogic squat, opening the knees out, helping with your elbows to open the knees, to open the hips. Thanks for joining me today. Feel free to press the play button one or two more times. Namaste.